Hi everybody, Jiggy Time Guy and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to do something a little different, a little something off the beaten path. We're going to be taking um, base coat and top coat clear nail polish and we're going to be using these to make our own colors of nail polish by using mica powders and putting the mica powder in the clear nail polish and making our own nail color. Um, and thing to note, sometimes on the darker colors of the mica powder, when you put the nail polish on, sometimes it will tend to stain the nail itself. So you may want to be cautious about that unless that's what you're going for. Because when you remove the nail polish off of the nail, sometimes with the darker colors of mica powder, it will stain the nail itself for a few days. And maybe that's what you want because then when you take off the nail polish, it's stained. And then you have your nail color permanently on your nails for a few days till it rubs off. But maybe that's something that you're not looking forward to as well. So just keep that in mind that with your darker colors, like your dark purples, blues, maybe even your reds um, and definitely your blacks or grays that they could stain your finger nail itself when you go to remove the nail polish. So just the thing to note. Um, we're going to be using, I've got seven different um, clear nail polish bottles. We're going to be doing seven colors. The colors I've chosen today are Caramine Red. Pearl Silver, Emerald Green, Glossy Fuchsia, Pearl Gray, Arugula Purple, and Ultramarine Blue. So those are the colors we're going to be doing. You're going to need an itty bitty baby funnel to make things a lot easier for you to get the mica powder into the bottles. Um, you can also make one out of paper if you don't have a little plastic one. Um, and you may need like a little tool. I took this wire and bent it so that you can push it down to make sure that the mica gets all into the, um, the bottles. You're also going to need for cleanup some um, baby wipes for cleanup. Because the mica powder does tend to get messy, especially when you're trying to fit it into these little bottles. It can get messy. It can get all over the place. The mica powder is kind of like glitter. It's like the herpes of the craft world. So, yeah, take heed, people. It could get messy. So we're just going to get right down to it. Here we go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is shake up your nail polish a little bit. Brush off your, your tip of your nail polish, your little um, applique brush, and set it aside. Then you're going to choose your color and you're going to put your, your um, funnel in. You're going to want to kind of put it at an angle because if you put it down in there, it's not going to go in. The mica powder's not, so you're going to want to put it at an angle. And here we go. We're going to try our first one, which is this... Uh, Tamarine Red. It has not been opened before. You don't need a lot of the mica powder. Just a little bit will do you. Especially with these colors that stain. Just a little bit will do you. Tap the, the jar or tap the 
That's fine, I'll get the mic powder all down. I don't know if that's enough mic powder. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not enough mic powder. Maybe I've got to put a little more in. Push the mica powder down in with your brush. Push down. Down into the, the bottle. Shove it down in there. Put the lid on. It's shaking up real good. Shake it up real good. Well, that was not cool. The cap fell right off the bottle. I got this bottle from the dollar store. So now he knows that the bottle, the caps, can fly right off the bottle. Shake it all up real good. As you can see, it has took on the color of the mica, which is really pretty color. Let's get us out um, some test paper here. Hang on. There we go. We got some test paper. Oh, well, that's real pretty. All well incorporated, and that's what we have. Isn't that pretty? So there's that one. Now with our funnel, look, we need to go run it under some water and get that mic out of there, so we're not mixing the colors. But I have a second funnel, so we'll do that next. So we'll do this next color. Put the mic powder back in its little place. So we'll shake this up a little bit. If you find you need to um, take some of the um, nail polish out of the jar to allow you some space to put your mic in, you can do that. That's fine. Just discard it or put it in another jar or whatever. That's fine. We're going to do this ultramarine uh, blue. Whoa, that is way too much. Oh my, what am I going to do with all that? That is definitely not going to all fit in that jar. It just came pouring out at me. So, let's go to the trash can and dump some of that out.
I got it all over the place. I literally have it all over the place, people. I told you it would be a giant mess. I gotta get some more wet ones. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I also rinsed out my funnels and dried them out. Here we go. Here's your second color. All shook up. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's pretty. Here's your second color. This is just regular top coat, base coat, clear nail polish that I got from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 a jar, uh, a container. Here we go. We're going to do our third one. blue one away. Let's do the uh, green one. There's the green one. As you can see we're going to push the mic powder down in. See how we push the mic powder down in? It's all encoded on the, the stick. Now we're going to shake it up. See how it starts getting in there? It starts getting in the jar. Shake it up. See how it's starting to all start to mix. Mixing up quite well. Shake it up real good. You cannot overshake this, people. The mica powder really gives it a nice shimmer.
Okay, let's try this out. That's very pretty. If you want it to be more opaque or it's not so sheer, you can add more mica powder to make it more um, opaque. But there's the green one. So we have red, green, and blue. And there's the finished look in the jar. These are 11 milliliters or 0.37 fluid ounces, these jars. Okay, let's do the purple one next. This, that other one was the emerald green. This one is the arugula purple. There it comes. I'm really not putting that much mica powder and it's just hard to get out of these little tubes. Like there's none coming out yet. Still nothing. Still nothing. Then you left in it. There it comes. There it comes. A little bit at a time. Okay, I think that should be good. See that all got shoved down in there? Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get mixed. Get all mixed up in there. Get all mixed up in there, nice and juicy. Getting all good in there. Yeah, that's what we want. Guess I really didn't need my little wire here. I really didn't need it. That's okay. Okay, let's check this one out. Oh, that one's really pretty. That one's really pretty. Okay. Let's do the uh, pearl gray one next. Don't get it off. There you go. Oh, I have to rinse out my little uh, funnels. I'll be right back. Rinse out my little funnels. 
now we'll do the, uh, the pearl grinding. Still nothing coming out. There it comes. It's all smashed down in there. Looks cool. Getting all mixed. Getting all mixed in there real good. I'd like to show you how it's mixing. Looks cool. Oh, that's like a silver. That's very nice. I love the way that turned out. That's like a silver. That's very nice. Two more. Let's do the white. It says pearl silver on it, but we already have that gray that looks like silver, so I wonder what this is going to look like. We shall see.
I mean, this looks white, doesn't look silver. But we'll see if it makes sense. Looks white. That gray looks silver. Yeah, see, this is going to look white. Yeah, this is going to be white, not silver. That gray looks silver to me. This is fun. I want it white. Yes, yeah, that's, that's going to be white. This is silver. This is white. This is what the purple look like in the model. This is what the green look like in the model. The blue, the red, and this is the white. We're going to have to do the white on the colored card stock. You can see it. Yeah, that's white. That's white if I've ever seen it. That's not silver. That's white. Let's see how it looks on the white card stuff. Last color, the pink. I have to go wash out my um my funnel. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is the glossy fuchsia. The white one was called. What was the white one called? Pearl Silver. That's what it was called. This one's a uh, glossy fuchsia.
Hmm? I've just filled up um, what's left in the well all the way to the top with the mica powder and then just push this the um, nozzle the brush straight down into it and then check it up. That's what I've done. And it's worked out fine for me each time. Now some nail polishes have a little BB or a little bead or something in them that helps when you shake it up and um, it helps mix up the, contain the contents easier. Some of them don't have it. If you would like to, you can add a BB. You go to the store and you buy BBs for a BB gun. Um, you get the metal ones or the plastic ones. The metal ones work better. And just drop one or two single BBs inside each one of those jars. They'll fit right down inside. And then you shake it up and it'll help shake up the contents. Because some of them don't have boobies in them anymore, little beads or anything. Because the plastic beads really don't work very well. But the BBs, the metal BBs, have um, weight to them. And they help shake up the contents. But you can do that. This is a little bit on the sheer side. I'm actually going to add some more mica powder to this one. Because I don't like how this one's so sheer. See how it's quite sheer? I'm actually going to add some more mica powder to this one. So you do it just like you did before. You put your little funnel in. And you just add some more mica. That's better. That's much better. That's the way it looks in the bottle. That's better. That's not so sure now. That's the way the white one turned out on the cardstock. And that's the way our colors turn out on the cardstock. Nice and shimmery. So, we have the red, the white, the fuchsia, the purple, 
the gray or the silver, the green, and the blue. So you can make your own customized colors of nail polish. You can mix the mica powders to get different colors. You can use chameleon colors and get color shift on your uh, nail polishes. You can use any mica powders you can get your hands on. Chameleon colors would be awesome to get the color shift like you do with the mica powders with chameleon colors. Those would be awesome. I do not have any chameleon colors on my potters, but those would be excellent to do this with to get the color shift for the uh, nail polishes. So, there you go, everybody. You make your own nail polishes out of clear nail polish from the dollar store and my potters. Make some up today. Put them on your pretty fingers. I don't have any nails. I keep mine cut ultra short. Because I can't stand to not feel my fingertips. And I can't stand to have stuff up underneath my nails. And I get ingrown fingernails all the time. So I have to keep them cut out. And I just, I can't stand it. I've tried to have nails before. I've tried to press on nails. I've tried growing my own nails. And my nails are just so brittle. And they, they bend and chip and break and everything. So I just, I keep them cut real short. And that's it. So, alright. Thank you very much for having, stopping by and spending time with me today. And we will catch y'all on the flip side. And hey, while you're already here, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below and let me know how the channel's doing. Leave ideas for new crafty projects we can complete on the channel together. And I'm always open to constructive criticism. I'm always looking for ways to improve the channel, make it more fun, interesting, and entertaining for everybody. Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to grow and reach more audiences here on YouTube. Share the video on social media such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And click the notification bell below and select all so you know when I put out a video or go live. I want to thank each and every one of you for your overwhelming support. It means so much to me. Um, I love doing videos for you guys and spending time with everybody. I consider you my extended family. And with all that being said, thank you so very much. You have a great day. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch you on the flip side.